it's Randy. So I actually got asked this question not too long ago and I thought that I should make a video and just share because I'm pretty sure there are many individuals out there whether you're diagnosed at a very young age or at an older age have had this feeling when they were first diagnosed. So I just wanted to make a really real and authentic video and actually talk about how I actually felt when I was initially diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis. So at first, um, I'll be honest, I was diagnosed officially at 16. I started having symptoms at 10. And at first I was just like, okay, I'll take some pills once a week and then that's just really it. That's just my life. Hopefully these pills, they're supposed to make me feel better so my hands won't hurt. So that's great. So that's cool. I'll just take some pills. So I really thought nothing of it at the time because I had no idea what rheumatoid arthritis even was. My great aunt, has lupus, rheumatoid arthritis, and fibromyalgia, but I never, I'm never really around her. She lives four hours away from me, so I've never been exposed to rheumatoid arthritis. So needless to say, it wasn't just, oh, I'll take these pills and I'll feel better. As everyone knows that has an autoimmune illness, that does not happen. So I actually, I started to get really angry and I was just upset and I was trying to hide all of my emotions because no one around me understood. No one had RA. I didn't feel like I could really just talk about it. No one really got what I was going through. So how was I going to explain how I was feeling mentally, emotionally, physically? So I really was angry. I was angry. As many of y'all know, I believe in Christ and I was angry at God. I was just like, how could you give me this type of illness at only 16 and I'm going through high school and I'm different from everyone else. and it was just so frustrating to be in pain every single day and still have to do like what normal kids do or try to do what normal kids do. I was super upset because I walked away from gymnastics and I love gymnastics and I had goals with what I wanted to do with my gymnastics career, but I had to walk away from that. So I was just so upset and I was so mad and I just couldn't understand why someone, why I, would, I was the one that had to have rheumatoid arthritis. I think it just kind of bothered me mainly because no one my age had it and it was just kind of like it was just a taboo it wasn't something that you talked about so even my best friends that I had in high school they really did not know what RA was until I got to college and actually started this YouTube channel and everything because I never wanted to talk about it I just was so upset if I was in pain then I would just hide it or I would just stay home and not go somewhere so it was very it was just really sad to just think that no one got me and that was the biggest issue that i just felt so far away from people when really in reality they did want to help me i just could not let anyone in because i was almost resentful for everyone else like oh well you don't have rheumatoid arthritis so i'm just mad at you because you're healthy and so it just became I started to think about really what I was going through and I didn't think about other people go through other things also. I mean, not everyone has rheumatoid arthritis, but other people have other things too. So I just started to get really selfish and upset and it just was not good during high school. As I got older, I will not say that I'm just like perfect. I'm like, yeah, I have rheumatoid arthritis. Woohoo. Definitely not. I definitely still battle with some days I'm just super upset, some days I'm mad, some days I'm just emotionally drained, and I'm some days I'm worrying about the future, and I'm just always thinking about what will I look like in 10 years, what will I look like in 20 years, and it's just become such a major factor in my life, and I will say that it has helped that I'm able to talk to people about it, but it does just, it's always on my mind, and I'm always trying to do everything perfectly to a T so that I can be fine in 10 years, be fine in 20 years, be fine in 30 years. And it's just, sometimes you can do everything perfectly, which many people, many of y'all know, and you'll still have a flare up. So it's very upsetting. However, now I'm around a group of people that I have, that I have let in and I have told them about my story. And they're so understanding, they're so sweet. And then of course, all of you guys that are on my Instagram and that reach out and comment on my videos, Y'all are so sweet as well, and so I definitely handle it way better now. And honestly, guys, if I'm being 100% real with you, the biggest thing that I had to do was just give it to God. 
Like I know at the age of 16, I was so mad at him. And I just could not understand why or I didn't understand any of it. But now looking back at it, the person that I have become ever since I was diagnosed at the age of 16 is someone who I prayed to become. I've always, when I was growing up, always prayed for this character trait, this character trait, this character trait. And honestly, at that age, I just thought that, oh, I just wake up and I would just be this model person that I prayed to be. I did not know that you had to go through some things to become that person. So just to know that, like literally, it's crazy to say, but that diagnosis and what I've had to go through and all the trials and late nights and having to be different than not not being like the normal child or just having to do a life differently has definitely like answered my prayers just because of the way that I have grown and I know I'm just going to continue to grow so as mad as I was at God I'm so thankful that he had that plan and just like one of my favorite scriptures Jeremiah 29 11 where God says that he has a plans for us and it's a plan to prosper us, not to harm us. And just to think that no matter how bad a day is for me, no matter how much I'm crying, no matter how upset or how worried I am about the future, just to know that God has me right here in the palm of his hand and he has control of my life and he's going to make sure that I prosper in life. It has just lifted so much weight off of my shoulders and I honestly just feel so much better about the diagnosis. So I just wanted to share that with you guys and just be real and just to let y'all know that I know that on Instagram I'm really happy on YouTube and everything I'm really happy and just having someone ask me that question well how did you feel when you were diagnosed it really just struck me because no one has ever asked me that question in X amount of years since I have been diagnosed so I just want to share that with you guys if you ever need to talk to me or vent to me or anything in between then I'm definitely here you can find me on Instagram you can email me at rawarriorrandy at gmail.com and I'll definitely answer I'll definitely reply because once upon a time I was exactly in your shoes if you're just newly diagnosed and if you've been diagnosed for a while then I'm still in your shoes I've been going through this journey so I would love to help each and every one of you. And as always, I hope y'all have a great rest of y'all's day. Goodbye.